So hi everyone, uh, Daryl and Sean here. Uh, we are actually at uh, Live Rachada Pisek, which is uh, close to Huiguang MRT station. And today we're going to take a look at a condo. Uh, and this client, uh, this client is an overseas client. Yes, it's a Singapore owner. Uh, so Singapore owner. Yeah. Uh, how long has the Singapore owner bought the condo for already? Uh, she bought from the developer, so uh, uh, upon completion, so it should be about coming to five years. Okay. Yeah. So for these five years, who has been handling? Actually, the first one two years, right? They were actually doing on their own, but after that, they find a hassle to fly in and out. So okay. in the end, uh, three years ago, they found us. So they have been under our property management scheme, okay. and at the same time, we handle the rental for them. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now currently what does the owner want to do with the unit? Um, actually we are looking to, she's looking to rent Okay As usual, I mean to rent it and then at the same time uh, to do a resale Because uh, this owner, she have a few other property in town Okay And then she was thinking of like getting, you know, getting her profit out And then after that go and invest in new properties in Bangkok Okay, so yeah. uh, got capital gains uh? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the, the last time when she bought from a developer, like, uh, it's 5.5 million. Okay. Yeah, so it's a two, two bed, two bath on the level 33. Okay. 56 square meter. Okay. Yeah, so uh, now she's looking to sell at 7 million for sure. Okay. Yeah, and then, you know, all the rental you did all this year, she had been renting from, range from 25,000 to 28,000. Okay. Yeah, depending on the up and down of the economy. Okay, yeah. so, uh, but this is not the nearest condo to Huihuang MRT station, right? No, um, it's still within 10 minutes, so within 10 minutes is quite safe, it's about 7 minutes walk. I mean, personally, I walk from MRT station to here. Uh, if you can see behind that building, right, the dark colour brownish one, that is Century Huihuang, that one is uh, just 3 minutes from the big, uh, MRT Huihuang. Okay. So that one is very soft because it's newer okay. and it's very near. Then the other one, the other few condo around there, the older one will be live Huihuang. Ideal Hui Kuang and also Rhythm Hui Kuang. Um, the upcoming one will be ST Hui Kuang, which is uh, under Sun Siri, which is not up yet. Okay. Yeah. But that one and Centric will be the nearest. Uh. Yeah, ST and uh, Centric will be the newest and the nearest to the Hui Kuang Okay, so let's say what's the difference uh, in rental? Rental and how much faster or slower will it be uh, for unit here versus there? Okay, for here right, if it's become empty, vacant right, it will take maybe 1-2 months before we find the next tenant. Of course, there will be viewing on and off, it's just that tenant will prefer to be really near the station because of the rain and you know, sun, too, okay. too hot, the weather. So for Centric, right, two bedrooms right, which is a bit smaller than the two bedroom here, okay. about 52 square meter, it can actually get 28 to 30,000. Okay. Yeah, or even 33,000 depending on the decoration and the level. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, one bedroom at Centric now, right, is about 18,000. Okay. Yeah, so one bedroom uh, in Centric, right, can start from maybe just 28, 28 square meter okay. to uh, 32, which is the largest. Okay. Yeah, for here, the one bedroom is about uh, 35 square meter, and then they have a 1 plus 1, which okay. is uh, 48 square meter. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go up and see the unit. Yeah, okay, go ahead and take a look. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay, so for this condo, right, they actually have the 24 hours family mark, which is very essential for tenants here because they can buy most of their daily needs over here rather than travel to the supermarket. Like, very convenient, all the ready eat meal that you can put in the microwave, that kind of stuff. And then we have the laundry mat because uh, some of the studio or smaller units, right, the owner doesn't provide washing machine. So they will have to use that for their wash, washing needs. There's oh. a ATM inside. Yeah, there's one, two, two ATM inside. Yeah, and then for Thailand, right, your electric bill and electric bill you will pay at convenience store like a Family Mart or 7-Eleven. Of course, you can do internet banking. And then water bill you will have to pay at the juristic office, which is over there. You can go and take a look. Uh, actually the ATM right, you gotta tell people that uh, huh? I mean everyone should, everyone should know like, if, if let's say you have like Bangkok Bank or Classicom Bank You can also withdraw money from Sign Commercial Bank yeah. So just having an ATM is enough already Yeah, it's like our interbank that kind of thing in yeah. Singapore yeah. yeah, so one ATM, all the banks are served Yeah, okay So okay. let's go to the unit Yeah, yeah okay. uh, Sean went in to take the keys from the juristic person's office uh, normally, right, the owners they may leave the keys at the juristic person's office. Then, the they inform the juristic person that uh, Sean is my agent. So Sean will come and take the keys, then go up 
If not, then if the owner passes the keys to us, then uh, it will be inside our office, which is also quite near in Hui Guang. And uh, this is managed by Plus Property. So Plus Property is actually um, uh, subsidiary by Sensiri. La. But uh, this development is not by Sensiri, but Plus is one of the larger companies doing like property management, uh, resale, rental, everything. Uh, yeah, so Sean is inside taking the keys, so she's signing out the keys and then uh, we're going up to the unit. Okay, uh, yeah, so this condo is about five years old and then uh, the state of maintenance is rather still quite good. Okay, uh, we've always highlighted uh, we cannot guarantee which condominium will be fine after like a number of years. The main reason is because uh, it's not dependent on the, the it's not dependent on the developer because after the developer hands over right everyone uh, goes for their normal annual general meeting then they have to vote on matters so this one uh, is quite well maintained all the landscaping everything all quite well done up um, I think this one is one of the quite well maintained right yeah, yeah. This one is under Plus Property. So Plus Property is uh, actually well known for property management for the whole uh, condo, like MCST, like the juristic office. Yeah. We can go out and take a look at the room first, then we can take a look at the swimming pool facilities. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on the 33rd floor. Uh, so we're going to see a two big two bath unit. The landlord is going to rent and sell. Yeah. Um, Singaporean owner. Handling for the last three years already. Uh, okay, so let's let's go. She, I, I told her to stay here to your channel. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, you want to take the surrounding? Are you taking the surrounding? Yeah, yeah. I'm just following you. Ah, okay. Ah. So you can see, right, all the garbage center, although it's already coming five years old, they are all very well maintained. You don't get smell or anything. See, they even have air freshener. Once you open, you can smell the air freshener. Yeah, so Thai, that's Thailand style. Right? I mean, a proper uh, condo management will provide all these things and will help you to maintain your condo well. That's why it's very important to buy from a uh, renowned developer. You can wear a shoe in because uh, when we have tenant, we will clean again. Yeah, okay. This one is for the third. 33 level, so you can have a very very good view of the whole Bangkok within the unit. Yeah. So uh, I I understand the last time when she bought this place, right? All the furniture comes with it. It's provided by AP. Okay. Yeah. So it is still working well. Okay. Although that I mean a bit aging, but it's okay. So the new owner, if they anyone who wants to buy over, they can just do some touch up, and the whole place is ready for rental, or they okay. can buy with a tenant if you can get a tenant immediately, like this month or something like that. Okay. Uh, this unit, the last tenant was paying uh, 26,000 Thai baht. Okay, we count like the estimated rental yield. Yeah, so it, let's say will do the okay. estimated rental. So like 26,000 multiplied by 12. And she's asking for 7 mil, right? Negotiable, yeah. Okay, let's go at 7 mil. So that's about 4.457%. So it's about almost 4.5% gross yield. Mm -hmm. So you deduct away the maintenance is how much? Uh, maintenance, maybe we just, for easy calculation, right, we will use uh, one month for maintenance, one month rental, about 25,000, 26,000. Okay. Yeah, because it's a two-bedroom. Yeah. Okay, so you deduct about 10%, your net U plus all your other costs about uh, 4% net U. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's about, okay, that's about the, the U that you're getting in Bangkok. Mm, uh, even for a new project. Yeah. I mean now, usually it's about this yield. Yeah, so uh, if like other agents tell you that uh, they can get for you like 8 or 10 percent, right? Like uh, that's not true because Bangkok is not a, it's not a emerging property market. Uh, it's actually a very mature already. Yeah. yeah. So if you're comparing to like Singapore or Hong Kong, of course our yield is a lot. I mean the yield in Bangkok is a lot higher mm. because in Singapore or Hong Kong maybe you're getting like <coughs> two or three, two uh, two plus three. So here's about. 20, 30 percent higher. Yeah. Yeah, but you need to buy in good location. Yeah, so yeah. You, uh, show. Okay, so uh, Sean will show okay, you guys just the unit. Take a look. Like this, is an open kitchen concept, and then for a typical rental, right, you will definitely have to have a fully furnished, like fridge, washer, microwave. Although 
some agent will tell you, oh, don't need to provide a free uh, washing machine because in every condo they will have a laundry room. But that's not true because tenants for personal hygiene they prefer to have their own. Yeah. So you have to factor in all these white goods because some uh, project doesn't provide you with white goods as well. Yeah, they only give you furniture, which is like, um, fit, I mean, all this one set. And then you still have to pay for your TV and everything. Uh, down to the water heater for shower. Yeah. Okay, we can go and take a look at the... <coughs> this is the common bar. Very standard common bar, but you see, four to five years already, it's still okay. It's just depending how the owner take care of the place. Like, after every rental, maybe you do a fresh coat of paint, and you have to do a touch-up. So the first two years is very important because your new house is under warranty by the developer. But if you are going to buy a resale, then this, of course, you don't enjoy this warranty anymore. You will just have to take care of everything by your own. Yeah. Now take a look at the... Then for this is the master room. <coughs> master room in most of the Thai condo, right? Uh, usually all these, I would say they are called mass market condo. Life range under AP is mass market. So they have very big uh, master bedroom. But... For common room, usually it's only a single bed. Later we can go and take a look. So that's ensuite with the bathroom also. Okay. Yeah, I'll go in first. <laughs> so this is uh, another bedroom. If you want to squeeze in a queen size bed, it's a bit tough uh, because then you have no no more room space already. So a double bed, uh, a single bed is usually the case for a mass market two bedroom. Okay, so uh, we're okay. We're at the balcony of a unit at Life Rajada Pisek, mm -hmm. and uh, this is actually a five-year-old condominium. And okay, I think that the renovation is a bit dated because from the newer condos and the newer show flats that I go, uh, this state of maintenance is very good. I don't know whether I'm wrong. Later, you can tell me then. But. Uh actually uh, okay i mean this unit yes because um it's a two-bedroom so usually when we rent to the tenants right it's either single or with family okay small children so they do like have mates to come in and take care okay uh, okay um but, but renovation yeah uh, the, i think because like now even the kitchen you need to touch up lah. yeah they use yeah. i mean the kitchen uses like towels mm. for the backsplash yep but then I noticed that like the newer condos, maybe they'll use glass, a bit more modern. Yeah, 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 correct. Because this one, you know, is a five years ago kind of style. So for now, I mean, if any buyer who buy over, they have the option. Okay. They can either save cost, just do like maybe wallpaper or paint the whole place. If the wallpaper for a two bed, two bar for this size, right, will cost you maybe 20 to 30,000 Thai baht. And then uh, maybe they have to change the kitchen tiles, like what you suggest, like the glass, to make it more modern and yeah, they can just do their own reno. But okay. uh, renovation here will cost you for two bedroom uh, easily about six to eight hundred k, depending how how extensive you want it to be. Okay. Yeah, I mean the six to eight hundred k include furniture, white goods or not. It depends how well you want it to be renovated. Okay. Yeah, like feature wall that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, uh, and then um, if for renovation of two bedroom right, then the owner have to be prepared to stay here for forty five days to sixty days uh. Okay. Yeah, because you know things happen very slow in Thailand, and then if you are not here to supervise on your own, it might drag a few months for the renovation. That's why uh, a lot of buyer actually came to us. Then after that, they understand already. They actually prefer to buy brand new one because you have warranty two years, and then you it's more like carefree. Even you need to do a renovation, you are not doing floor or wall or something like that. You just need to do like just put in your furniture, do some deco. Okay. It's good to rent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this type of property will be somebody who. Maybe wants to buy a two bedroom on a lower budget. Correct. Doesn't <coughs> mind spending time to do renovation, overseeing renovation. Yep. And the rent also will be lower, right? Um, the rent now, as I say, is about the last rent is twenty six thousand. Okay. So of course it's negotiable as as the property age, right? And then, uh, the rent, and it's not like next to the station, so okay. the rental is not easily going to hold there, lah. It can drop like one two thousand or maybe like twenty five thousand. Okay. But if you're going to do a new renovation and then new furniture, everything new, then definitely you'll be able to get a bit higher, like twenty six, twenty seven, maybe. Okay. Mm. Yep. Okay. So actually, property investment, right? Wherever you go, uh, not only just in Thailand, uh, like Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, anywhere, right? It's not, uh, it's not like really hassle free. It's not like you're buying uh, a count a counter on a, a stock on a stock exchange. So you need to put in some effort. 
it depends on how much effort you guys want to put in. Yeah, like yeah. stock exchange, same thing. Like if you get a financial advisor, you, you whether you gain or lose, you still have to pay commission. Yeah. Right, I mean, and if you're lazy type, but then if you're the hardworking type, you monitor on your own, yeah. you might make more money, but then your time will be staring at computer because I used to work in the exchange. Okay. So yeah, it's the same. If you want to buy a property here, you want to be like more, less hassle, of course the brand new one will be easier for uh, especially a new investor as well. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, no. okay. Yeah. Okay. So we go and take a look at the swimming pool. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's go. Yep. We are on the uh, level thirty six, the facilities uh, level. Okay. You can see the lab pool is actually quite decent, uh. a bit like MBS style, right? So and then we also have our gym over here. So uh, just now you were asking me which like tenant profile was there, right? Uh, yeah. So generally, mm. like life Rajada PC is not the nearest condominium to Hui Huang MRT station. Mm. Uh, like you mentioned, there are two other condominiums, two or three other condominiums that are nearer. Yeah. Then, what type of tenant profile will come and stay in this one? Uh, this one is not, say, very far away. It's not within the soil. Okay, it's like along the minutes. main road. Yeah, yeah, it's about long. seven, seven or minutes. Okay, so who are the people who will come and rent or who are the people who are buying a condo like this? Okay, most of the tenants here, right, they are single. I mean, for the one bedroom. And uh, for two bedrooms, usually are Thai family. That means they might have children like um, working here or studying here. And then uh, for the foreigners, are uh, mainly uh, international school teachers. The Westerner, a number of them are Westerner. Uh, for them to come here, they are given a small allowance from the school. So the allowance is about somewhat fifteen thousand baht per month. Okay. So for them, a lot of them they doesn't want to exceed that and then come out from their own pocket. So this is one of the good choice with very good facilities but yet the rental is about 16,000 for one bedroom. And the one bedroom as I say right is older condo so the size is about 35 square meter compared to that of a uh, centric which is like start from 26 square meter and the largest they have is 32. Okay. But a, la a 32 square meter at centric will, co will cost you about 18,000 baht per month. Okay, that's yeah. because that's very near the Yeah, that's very near the station, station. Okay. correct. Of course, uh, there will be teachers who are willing to top up the 3,000 on their own to be okay. nearer to the station. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then uh, actually I take a look mm. at the facilities, right? It's quite adequate, but then it looks a bit dated as compared to maybe the newer offerings by the larger developers. Mm. So, does it make a difference? Uh, yes. Uh, given a choice, I mean, if the tenant can afford it, right? They will yeah. definitely choose something newer and and with better, uh, well-equipped facilities. Okay. Yeah, but for tenant profile who choose here, right, they have limited budget. So just example, the two bedroom that we just saw, okay. they want a two bed, two bath, but yet they cannot afford like 30,000, 35,000. Okay. So this is like less than 30,000 range. So it's still comfortable for even the Thai family to rent. Okay. Yeah. Okay, understand. So the, yeah, the, the pool is quite nice. Uh, mm -hmm. So you overlook like a infinity pool. So Sean was mentioning look like uh, MBS meets Marina Bay Sands. Yeah. And uh, and uh, this uh, and but one thing I noticed is that actually the the condominium right, mm. there are quite a few like damages. Uh, yeah, the management has to go and get up. it done, touch yeah. up. Uh, so if you're looking for something that is uh, like really really new, really nice, right then. Because some people they cannot accept. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to buy resale, right, you gotta accept that things will be a bit worn out, things will be a bit dated. Uh, by and you. Used, uh. <laughs> yeah, and used. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't have the warranty. Yeah, but this one still generally quite well maintained. Uh. There's some like calcification on the wall of the swimming pool. Yeah, you can see the cracks and all that. I mean, yeah. this is due to the weather here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, okay. So we we'll go to the next one. Yeah. Okay.